YouTube channel. This is Aastha. I hope you all are doing great. Guys, as you can see, we have guests on our channel. First of all, Ekant, welcome to our channel. Thank you so much, ma'am. Guys, Ekant is one of our subscriber and he recently cracked a very good position with a really good company, Bosch. He got selected in Bosch. So guys, in this video, we're going to see the complete recruitment process, interview questions, the preparation that Ekant did for this company. Okay, so please do watch the video till the end. This video is going to be very informative and exciting. Do not miss this video, okay? So first, uh, Ekan, congratulations for your achievement with the company. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, we would like to know for which position you got selected. Uh, ma'am, uh, Associate Software Engineer. Okay. And uh, when you get uh, this opportunity, means when you're given the interview? Uh, just I One month ago, ma'am. One month ago. Okay. So, uh, Ikan, we would like to know the complete recruitment process, interview questions, how you did your preparation, all the details from your side. Yes. Okay? So, yes, first of all, so, give us your brief introduction. Thank you. As, uh, <laughs> I'm Ikan, and uh, currently I'm living in Bangalore. Basically, I'm from Uttar Pradesh, and uh, I'm pursuing my Bachelor of Engineering in Computer Science and Engineering uh, from AMC Engineering College, college that is affiliated with Vishesuraya Technological University at Velagavi. So, uh, I mean, uh, I got this boss uh, opportunity from the college only. There was the, I mean, uh, some criteria like you you must have 70% in all your academics. And uh, one more thing was there, uh, there, there should not be any backlog or uh, active backlog. And uh, there should not be any, uh, uh, I mean, more than one year uh, education gap. So, uh, I mean, uh, I filled that form and I got shortlisted. After that, I got a mail from college and from the uh, boss also. And they sent me the link for online test. And that test was one hour and 30 minutes. So there was basically 62 questions. 20 questions were from uh, aptitude. Uh, that is regarding English and uh, reasoning and uh, so many other questions. My MCQ only, objective types. And 20, uh, 40 questions was from basically all the languages. Like that, uh, C, C++, and uh, DBMS, uh, uh, structure query language, and that was from data structures also. So 40 questions were there, but they were also in MCQ only. And okay. there were two coding questions. You will get 30 minute time, and uh, you have to solve both the question in 15, 15 minutes. So okay. that was that was all about, uh, I mean, first test. Mm -hmm. uh, first, uh, I mean, uh, as soon as I completed this, after one day only, I got a um, mail from the boss, mm -hmm. and uh, that uh, second round was technical round, basically. So that was of thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and uh, this is, I mean, <laughs> this is uh, in your hand. You can, I mean, uh, uh, make that uh, interviewer to work according to you. I mean, he, he asked me which subject you like, so I told him Python, and mm -hmm. but I made one point like uh, I started my coding journey with C. He was like, okay, C. So he went uh, through the C and he asked me questions from C and after that he asked so many questions from the projects, uh, I mean mini project and uh, I did three mini projects so he asked it all three and uh, a current, current going project that is for final year project so he asked from that also he asked about internship, what did you learn the, over there and uh, I mean he was like very good uh, person so actually they based on the interviewer mood he was like okay Kant, uh, you are a good student and uh, we will continue with uh, thus uh, let's hope for the rest and ma'am uh, I, I thought uh, third round will be HR but there was no HR round that that was basically tool based uh, tool based assessment or uh, we we can say that English based assessment so that was basically the they were testing like your uh, English grammar Grammar mistake. Yeah, it's like communication test. Yes, yes, yes. So not communication. Uh, they will give you the 12 question. You have to solve in uh, 15 minutes. Okay. That was basically the, uh, you're checking your uh, grammar is, uh, mistake and uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, the proposition and uh, conjunction. Uh, they were like that only. So MCQ Basic grammatical uh, test. Basic, basic grammar. That, that was in section one. And in section two, there was essay writing. So mm -hmm. um, less than uh, 400 words and uh, greater than uh, 100 words. Okay. So they will check each and every, I mean, that's not a elimination round, basically, I, I can say. Everyone got selected from that also. So that's all about this. 
and uh, uh, I prepared from I mean uh, so many things like Java points and mm. uh, W3 school to tutorial points and basically from my notes which I made uh, during the my ed academics so uh, from the college side and uh, from the VTU that's all my mind. I mean if you are prepared well for the if you can solve both the questions I mean, uh, both coding the coding question, question. Mm -hmm. coding question. I mean, test case, if test is, test case are 12, I mean, 12 may say nine should be pakka. I mean, nice. they should pass okay. nine test cases as, at least from both. Mm -hmm. If more than that, then it's valid and good. But uh, if nine test cases are passed, uh, I mean, are going to pass, then you will be selected. So that's all about it, ma'am. Great, great, great. So because it's a software engineer's profile and you belong to computer science and engineering, so I'm sure yes, they want to check you more on the technical part. They ask you more questions from the C, C++, Python, Java. The reason yes, behind yes. that is mostly because you belong to computer science and um, that's your stream. You're learning that yes, for the last four years. Actually, so that's why they check had, you more. Yes, ma'am. I had a word with my friend. He belonged to, from, uh, belonged to EC background. Mm -hmm. So I asked him, like, uh, how is your uh, test watch? So he told me, like, uh, all watch from, I mean, uh, VLSI and uh, Vagera Vagera. I mean, I don't know their subjects. But <laughs> right. he, he Actually, what like, happens, they that check is... that whether you are having your own subject knowledge or not. That's yes, what yes, the yes, reason. Yes, correct. And you belong so, to computer science. Right. So that is the reason yes, they yes, ask yes. you more questions from your own stream, that is technical languages and all. Correct, correct, correct. So according to you, to crack Bosch company is not that much difficult if you are prepared, right? Yes, ma'am, yes. I mean, be confident and uh, be prepared. I mean, you can crack any company. Right. And you have you have scored 70%. It means you're good in your academics, I'm sure. So, guys, as I also used to tell you people always, if you are prepared, if you are confident, you can crack any interview. Right? I can't, yes. I'm in this field, HR field, for almost five to six years. And I also belong to computer science stream, actually, in my graduation. So, no doubt in that, if you are well-versed about your languages, your technical languages, so you can crack any interview. For that, you need to do presentation, yes, right? Yes, yes, ma'am. Actually, I asked that uh, technical person, uh, that interviewer, sir, mm -hmm. anything I need to learn before coming to boss? I mean, I, I did not get selected before, but uh, mm -hmm. I asked him. He was like, okay, you are interested. Uh, yes, sir. So he told me like, uh, there is no, I mean, basic limit limitation, like you have to learn C and Java and Python. Uh, you can learn any language. Uh, they have vast variety of uh, fields to work over boss and uh, i mean so he told me like whichever language you know you must know something about that i mean you, uh, you, you, you can't be a, language. correct correct you can't be a maharathi kind of right. guy but you you, you must know you something about that. that so yes 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 so great. that's all about it now great so that's a great thing i thought you came on our channel you shared your experience with us i'm sure so many candidates are going to inspire from you and guys Please do come and share your experiences also. See, uh, Ikan came and share his experience with us and you'll get to know that, yes, we have Bosch company as well. Those are getting candidates. We are giving opportunities to the candidates and they're offering really good packages. Around 5 lakhs per yes. annum they're offering to the candidates. So it's a great package for freshers. I can believe that because if you crack uh, Infosys and other companies, you'll get 3, 3.5, 3.6 lakhs package. But Bosch is offering 5 lakhs to freshers and that's a great amount, guys. No doubt in that. And you're going to learn a lot. That's a great uh, place to learn. So congratulations once again, Ekan, that you got selected Thank and you so starting your too. career with that company. And it's really great Thank to talk so to much. you. You came here. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, ma'am. And thank you so much, viewers. You watched this video till the end. I'm sure this video is going to be motivational for you. For tracking that company, you need to prepare your particular subject, your own subject nicely. You should have basic knowledge about that, your subject. And you should be proficient with any particular language. Okay? If you want to go into technical part, like especially software part, you need to prepare some programming languages. That's it. And thank you so much for watching this video till the end. Thank you so much, Ekan, for sharing your experience with me. All the best for your career. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much.